Hello, my name is Dion Dawkins, and I will be the third grade language arts tutor for the 2022-2023 program year. Um, a little bit about me, I have been um, in education for over 20 years. I've been a classroom teacher, I've been a school counselor, um, and most recently, within the last four years, I have become a homeschool educator um, to my own children. I have two children, and we live here with my husband and our dog in Prince George's County, Maryland. I'm so excited to be joining the tutoring team at Extend Homeschool. So I have to say, um, the middle grades in, in, in elementary school are probably my favorite years. It's just, I feel like students at that point are really um, getting their learning personalities. They're ready to soak up new information. They're just, they, they have lively conversations. So I'm really, really excited to partner with you um, on this journey for your students' third grade school year. So let me, share a little bit about um, what we'll be doing with the third grade ELA course, um, the textbook requirements, my expectations for the students and for the parents. And then I'll also um, show you a picture of the, um, the textbooks that you'll be using this year. So for this class, we'll use Shirley Grammar, Shirley Grammar Level 4. And yes, it is third grade and we are using Shirley Grammar level four. The goal of, um, the goal is to complete through level six of Shirley Grammar um, by fifth grade. And so that puts students that are in third grade in the level, level four booklet. Um, for those of you that are not familiar with Shirley Grammar, it's a very unique, um, grammar curriculum, and it specializes in helping students to master the parts of speech and also sentence structure. And she does this in a wonderful way through jingles and fun and movement. And it just, it helps the students to really start to recognize and hear um, the different um, parts of speech and also be able to identify them. It helps to kind of bring grammar to life in, in my personal opinion. Um, it gives a lot of repetition that helps to build skills and it just really helps students to become more mature in their writing skills. So let me share with you the text that we'll be using so that as you start to look for your materials for next year, you have an idea in your mind what it looks like. I would suggest that um, for your teacher's manual that you um, purchase pre-owned but the two mandatory um, texts, which are the student workbook and the student practice book, they are consumables, and so they must be purchased new. So let me show you what they look like. All right, so you can see right here the Shirley Grammar or Shirley English Level 4 kit. Um, this is the practice book and the student workbook. I'm looking at Christian book. Dot com, but there are other um, online platforms, online um, stores that you can purchase these books from. But I would suggest starting with Christian Book or Thrift Books, even Amazon. I've ordered from um, Shirley Grammar from Amazon as well. Okay, so getting into um, the course, and I'm going to look down at my notes a little bit to make sure. I'm not forgetting anything. So um, there is a $25 materials fee for each student. And students are also required to have two separate um, marble composition books for the course because one um, composition book will be used strictly for grammar, one composition book will be used strictly for writing. And also I would like for the students to have index cards so that they can use that for their vocabulary building. Um, students will focus on grammar concepts on Tuesday, and then Thursdays will be devoted to um, writing skills. Um, students will be assigned biweekly writing assignments that will allow them to practice the writing process as we grow in, in different and various types of writing that we'll learn about this year. If your student is um, a little reluctant to writing, 
they feel um, a little intimidated by writing, please do not be, um, be fearful. We'll do a lot of writing. Just really start to build that writing muscle. Um, we're not looking for perfection, but we're looking for growth. And so I want to just remind you and also remind your students that we want to see them growing and becoming more comfortable in writing because we know um, that as adults, this is a skill that we'll use for a lifetime. So we just really want to start building capacity in that area for our students. Um, students will be introduced to different um, types of writing, um, personal narratives, we'll write some stories, um, we'll be writing to inform, we'll be writing to um, express opinions and persuade. So we'll get a full, um, uh, we get a lot of different um, writings um, there. Some students will feel more comfortable in one and not another, and that's okay because that's um, how we know learning takes takes place. Okay, um, each quarter students will be assigned a novel that I will help to pace them through through the quarter, and so I'll give them weekly um, goals for that book to um, so that they can finish it by the end of the quarter. Um, at the end of each quarter, we will have a project that goes along with that novel so that they can share what they've learned and what, how they've grown and how they, um, whether they enjoyed the novel or not. I am an avid reader and my hope is that each student will find a character that will continue to kind of live with them or they'll find an author that they'll, you know, be begging to have more books um, by that author by the end of the, um, the program year. It's just a hope to really introduce them to a variety of writing styles um, and, a, and a variety of characters. Um, I'm still narrowing down the books. If you've looked at the curriculum list, you'll see where my mind is in terms of what books that I'm looking at for next year, but I will not um, have those final selections until June 1st. So I will have those narrowed down um, to that, but you can look at what I'm looking at right now to if you um, are still deciding about the class. All right, I am really looking forward to, like I said, partnering with you and your family for this um, third grade year. Um, my expectations are that students come prepared to learn. We only meet twice a week, and so we just need to, to make that time together as meaningful as possible. Um, again, the students will have bi-weekly writing assignments, They'll also um, test um, every other week with their Shirley Grammar um, concepts. And students are expected to stay, st stay current in their novel, um, quarterly novel reading, okay? Um, parents, I just ask that you remember that you are the primary teacher. And if you have any questions about a skill, an assignment, the pacing, that you um, don't hesitate to contact me so that I can help you problem solve this for you and your student. If you have any questions or you need any clarity about the course, um, if I didn't answer a question that you really need answered as you make the decision as to whether you want to register for the course or not, please do not hesitate in contacting me. The best way is through um, email. And my email is Dion, D-I-O-N-N-E dot, Dawkins, D-A-W-K-I-N-S at extendhomeschool.com. If you email me, um, I'll get back um, in touch with you as soon as possible so that you can ask the questions or I can help to clarify something with you. If you've never um, used Shirley Grammar before, please do not let that um, scare you. I think that you and your student will find it to be very effective and fun, enjoyable. And I just hope to um, meet you all. I hope that you will consider third grade ELA with me for the upcoming program year. Thank you and have a great day.